Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you an updated tutorial on how to jailbreak your iDevice iPhone 5S through the iPhone 10 with Rain USB. Rain USB now officially supports iOS 13.4 and iOS 13.4.1. There are a few steps that we're going to get into. Also, I quickly want to mention that in this video from the previous one, if you had any other previous issues with error, I will quickly bring that up before I move on to the boot screen. So first things first, links will be in the description below, GitHub and then Rufus. So we'll get to Rufus in just a second. First things first, how to find out if your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit very easy to do go on your file explorer then right click on this pc then go to properties as you can see here system type that's what you're going to look for if it says 32 bit or 64 bit so this is 64 bit obviously put my mouse screws are over here if you can't see the mouse then that's okay doesn't really matter so now we're going to go back to our internet browser. If you have a 32-bit, you're going to download this one. If you have 64-bit, like I'm using, you're going to download that one. I'll mention that if you have a 32-bit, it's going to say x86. Or if it says 32-bit, then download 32-bit. Okay, next up, make sure you download Rufus. This is the Rufus program right here. Download it. So now we're going to go to my iOS jailbreak folder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Rufus. Make sure you right click run as administrator. Rufus will open. Next up, you're going to want to make sure the following file is selected. Make sure that when you do look for the boot rain make sure that it's version 0 0.10.1 in fact let me get rid of the zip file so that way I don't get confused and we'll delete that yeah that's an old file from February we don't want that also I don't need zip file getting in the way so once again 0 0.10.1 if there is a new version you can download it but we'll ignore that for now. 3.8 is just fine. I tested this over the uh, Easter weekend, of course. Now what you're going to do is hit select. Go to desktop where I have my file. Going to rewrite everything. Hit start. Write in ISO mode. Warning, all data on device will be erased doesn't matter hit OK once again I've tested this this works completely fine I got rid of my other version of 0 0.9.7 once again I'm just gonna plug my phone in to the computer once we load onto the boot screen I want to quickly bring that up because many of you know I'm currently jailbroken on iOS 13.3 with the program known as uncover so I want to quickly bring that up because I prefer an untethered jailbreak it's much simpler in the morning considering that once I go back to work when everything dies down it'll be easier to get back into my normal routine because that's how I used to do it before the uh, current world we're living in right now so it will be ready Get to the boot screen in just a second. We'll wrap up the video that way. So, you're having any issues, follow the instructions on the GitHub. Once again, GitHub link will be in the description below. I won't put the Rufus link there because there's really no need to do that. So, you're going to make sure that your computer does support virtualization. So obviously you are on here if your computer does support virtualization, obviously. So I will mention that this method does support 
the flash cards. So I do have the SD cards, of course. So I'm trying to say the SD card, put it in your computer. Should work fine, of course. I did test it over the weekend once again. Now, if you're having any issues, once again, here are the troubleshooting. So, obviously, there's that. All your issues, if you have any issues, follow the instructions. I know I had comments on my last video, and I'm really glad people showed up to the last video. That really means a lot, and I know I don't respond to every comment. I do look at them. So, I figured I wanted to have an up-to-date video because, obviously... This version did come out last week, of course. So this version did come out back on April 8th for the updated Rain USB. So now, done with that, what we need to do is restart the computer. So I'll be back and we'll finish up the video. Once you restart your computer, make sure that you are in your boot options. So I hit the F12 key on my computer so I can get into my BIOS for Dell. So the next option we're going to do, go into UEFI boot. Make sure that it's your flash drive or your SD card. Now we're going to go into graphics safe. So hit graphics safe. So now all this should be coming up. See boot rain. There we go. So now we're going to have to type in Anon, A N O N, and then type in V. I'll try to do this correctly. O I D L. I N U X. Same instructions will be in the GitHub page. You can check that out. All right there we go. So I recognize my last login was a while ago. I was doing extra testing, of course. So now we're gonna type in sudo. Make sure I'm typing this correctly. Check rain. Yeah, that and there you have it check rain version 0 0.10.1 now let's just make sure that we can connect the phone to the computer once again i have an iphone 8 i'm currently jailbroken on ios 13.3 with uncover like i mentioned earlier when i was on the computer so we just want to make sure we can plug it in there you have it, folks. My phone is connected to the computer. Once again, I don't want to show you my ECID because then that is, of course, risky. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, everyone. Uh, one last thing I want to show you. If you do want to shut down or reboot, you can hit this command. Sudo. Shut down. minus r can also be minus h if you want to shut down the computer permanently you can hit that but i'm going to be doing the start of course after i'm done recording you can hit this command and it should restart your computer so with that being all said thank you all very much for watching and until the next one please take care